This is Carrie. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be taking a look at um, one of the series ones, BFFs, Crybaby Bees Fashion Dolls. This is Jenna, apparently. I haven't actually taken a closer look at any of these. I know that this is some sort of a blind bag thing, I think. And this spins, but it gives her, I think she has different head different faces, but I think it does. It gives her the same outfit, right? Maybe not. I don't know. Different poses. So it's different poses. It's a spin wheel. And then, what is her? Those are the same boots, right? I don't know. I don't get it. Just different poses. That's what we got. Um, and these are by IMC Toys, and then this is the back. Uh, there are six to collect in this collection. Um, uh, I don't know how I feel about them yet, so, um, it just says Fashion Best Friends Forever. Uh, this is the box that is obviously iridescent. And then over here on the side here, there's a little silhouette. Is it the silhouette of the girl in here? I don't know. There's another silhouette. It looks like the backside. But, um, that's our girl Jenna. I got this at Walmart on clearance for $9.99. And I think it was Target. It was Target for $9.99. They were normally $19.99. And I know how I felt about that price for an experiment. So, but I'm going to go ahead and get her open because I keep blabbing. It is Crybaby's official product. How do I open it, though? I don't know. I think maybe from the bottom. I'm going to actually open. Almost like a... Um, do you guys remember Hair Amazings? How those opened? So we're going we to we're gonna have like... And like, OMGs. Is there a tape I missed? I don't know. No. You guys, this is actually really cute. And the cardboard is really stiff. It's really, really durable for cardboard stuff. Uh, so we got a little foam mirror here. Little clouds around it. And some stars. And then we have her, here's our little headband. It looks like it's in her closet though here. So she has like a cloudy type sweatshirt and it's maybe a skirt and then a, another empty hanger. Little box, little faux box here. Well, I don't know, maybe that might open. And then on top here it says BFF. I think this might be our checklist. I don't know. Or maybe a poster. And then under here is another box. Is this a drawer that just comes open? Oh, wow. There's all the accessories in there. Um, I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm going to cut down that headband. We'll take a look at that. I think I think you see what you get here. It's got like pink inner airs and then it's like a, like a light pearlescent blue. The other side of it almost looks like it uh oh it does shimmer almost like it, it like snaps onto something which is weird i almost thought those were stickers but they're just paint it's just paint no a, a thicker paint interesting so let's go ahead and look to see what's in this drawer does this drawer just come out of here oh, just come out i don't know it might not so what have we got in here we have socks a silky pink sock there. We got a pink blue boot. Oh, and they have little wings color in it. That's nice. That's a nice paint detail. It's subtle but necessary. And it looks like we have a left and right and they have wings on them. They're like a spring green color. And then we have a purse here which has that yellow matching here and then pink on the top of it. And they're all that pearlescent, pearlescent blue. That we saw on our headband over here. Here's the other sock. I think there's also a necklace in here. There is a, uh, a transparent blue necklace there. Darker blue. And I think that's it. Oh, this opens up and comes out. It's very interesting that there's another closet in the back. So yes, it does. it is a checklist. These are the six main girls you can get. There's down on the, down the bottom. That shows how to get her out. And then, oh, it's a poster of her. Oh, it's cute. 
I want to get a a poster frame for this. This is really cute. All right, so let's go ahead and get our girl out. We need to actually admire and check out the rest of her box that was actually behind the capsule. We're gonna open up in a second. There's there's a blaze. Um, so yes, she has a little uh bulletin board here with a rainbow on it. Some pictures and notes we can't really read. Um, a nice Victorian type chair sitting here, like a armchair, not armchair. I don't know. Chair. And it has a fluffy white cloud blanket on it. Looks so comfortable. And then she also has a full fairy outfit here. Nope. An angel outfit. There's a halo. That's cute. That is cute. Hardwood floor. So getting her out, I had to take two pieces of tape off this. And I guess I just bring her out like this. Reveal. Put her right here. Ah, she fell over. And she's off. Is this her stand? This is going to be interesting. Interesting stuff, guys. Okay. I'm really excited for her, guys. Okay. Um. Ooh, I really like this doll. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Ooh, and she has rosy kneecaps. Is that like a new thing this year? Uh, let me, I'm going to put her accessories on, but I don't know. I want to actually show you her toes. Oh, these are actually really, oh, these are really nice. Oh, wow. Way to go. These are, these are actually really exciting dolls. Um, I have to be right back for a second, guys. I had to go off camera to freak out because I, I don't know what to say. I, I, I wish I had gotten one earlier, but you know what? I can't say that because these have actually been not easy to find. I found when they first, first came out, excuse me, I found um, two, two packs at Walmart and they were like, it was like $40 and I just, I couldn't justify paying that price for the risk because I wasn't sure of the quality. I, I, in the past, I haven't really been that keen on the bigger babies that have come from crybabies. Because and not so much of their design, just the uh, the quality of them wasn't really good enough for me. I don't know. I wasn't. I'm not being snobby or anything. I just I wasn't sure how these were gonna be, and I'm just so blown away right now. Um, I love inset eyes. I love that. Well, they're yeah, they're kind of an in, they're they're definitely an inset eye. Um, they don't have the uh, um too much going on with the eyelashes, but I think they're supposed to be. I wonder what their age group is supposed to be. If it's supposed, they're supposed to be uh, like like tweens or if they're supposed to be teenagers i'm not sure but either way they're not adults so but they have a really really cute look i oh no i didn't want to love it as much as i i didn't want to love her as much as i did okay Whew. okay her hair is really really soft i don't know i'm not a hair guru or expert as to what her hair can be made out of but uh it's really soft it is Got all these pastel colors in it. So you have pastel blue, purple, yellow, and pink. And then in the front, same thing. She's got the bangs. A little side bangs here. Like the little, like a little, I don't know, fringe, like side fringe. Uh, it looks really pretty. I gotta mess with it a little bit. It's a little box messy. Oh, and she has, uh, pink eye, eyebrows on her there too. Purple eyes, the inset ones. And then, uh, she has like a bubblegum pink lip. They are open. You can see her teeth. And, like, really, really light blushing going on in her cheeks. Um, she's wearing a two-piece two outfit. She's got this cute little frilly baby doll dress on uh, that's, like, light blue with clouds all over it. And there's, like, three different layers or three different tiers on the dress. Uh, she has this really cute, like, oh, not a bomber jacket, right? I don't know what this is called, but... What kind of jacket this is called, but it's a spark. I don't know what the fabric is either. Ah. So it's like a sparkly, it's a shimmery silver. And then you have all those pastel colors repeated in like a cotton on the sleeve, on the rim, and on the, the, the collar line of her shirt, her jacket. And then she has real, real buttons, guys. Sewn in buttons that are stars, that are dark yellow stars on that side. 
They don't button on, but they're there in their buttons, and that's, like, so amazing to me. And on the back of her jacket, she's got wigs. That is so cute. Look at these wigs. They're so cute. Ah. All right. And I think her jacket's, like, a different piece than the dress, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to take the jacket off and check out just her dress. So, in my opinion, the dress definitely needs the jacket to keep it going. You have raw edges on the frilling in the front. You have raw sleeve edges. It definitely lacks. But I have to remember that she's a $20 doll. And the body is so solid and poseable. I just I think I'm going to actually strip her and we're going to take a look at the body. So anybody who is, uh, if, is bothered by doll nudity can skip this section. Never mind, there's no nudity. She has a... A painted on, molded on, um, basically brawn underwear underneath in pink. And then there's a texture on the underwear um, that have little, like like little dot texture. So, And I love that she has rosy colored knees. That's a thing. That's an extra detail that doesn't need to be there. And um, so these are her hands. These are really, really cute. She has really cute hands. And these are her cute little toes, her little feet. I love that they went like um thick, like she has like a she has like a pear shape. She's a pear shaped body, and I love how they went really thick with the feet. The feet are adorable. These are adorable. This is an adorable doll. I can't deal with it. Okay, um, I'm gonna put her together, and I'm gonna put all of her accessories on, and then figure out how her stand works. So, I have come to the conclusion that I'm not sure this is actually her stand. It should be her stand, but I it looks weird. Like, you have to take this part off, and then it ends up with a raw, like, weird thing on the top there, and the, or you could take this off. But uh, I feel like it should be just cut right here. There should be a piece that come out right there to make it the stand. But I'm going to figure something out. Um, but here is our girl, all dressed up and ready to go. Um, tip though, if you do get, if you end up getting Jetta and you want to put the ears on, slide them up from the back of the ponytail onto her head because they are very hard, but they stay in place once they're there. But if you try to jab them in like I did, you end up ruining the ponytail and then you probably have to redo it all over again. I guess this isn't a problem with some people, but, um, I never really went over articulation with you guys, but I did show you her, um, stripped down. Uh, so they have articulation at the shoulders, so you can do all the different movement with the shoulders. Um, they have articulation at the elbows, so if I can get that to, if I can pull that up far enough, so we can look at the elbow joint. So there's her at full bend to the elbows, so not a lot, but enough. And then the arm, the wrist joint, and then she also has, you can make her sit. You can make her stand. They are ball joints. You can give her, um, her legs spread out just about this far. Oh, wow. Really far. Okay. And then, um, a knee joint, which also does have a swivel. So, and it, the knee joint goes pretty far enough, I think, for this type of doll. And you can make them sit however you want. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm really impressed. I, I think I might get more of these dolls if they come to me at the right price. But, um, yeah, it, I, I am I'm pleasantly surprised. I, I didn't know. And even the real buttons, the real buttons on the jacket get me. Um, yeah. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And um, we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. I don't know why I didn't figure it out before, but she's supposed to be a Pegasus theme. The clouds, the horse ears, uh, the wings, the wings on her shoes. Duh, Carrie, duh.